Uh, despite the recession, there are more than 20,000 jobs open across the 10 counties of southwestern Pennsylvania. Even more when you add in the rest of our region. You can check them all out at imaginemynewjob.com. Well, educators and employers want young people to know that there is opportunity here, more than you might think, but you got to have the skills to get the jobs that are available. And they've summed it up uh, recently with Imagine Week in Pittsburgh, uh, a partnership involving the Pittsburgh Regional Compact. Michelle George is Graduation Project Coordinator at Avonworth High School. Jacob Geary is a junior there, and Stefan Bontrager is Director of Education and Community Engagement with WYEP, and welcome. Good to see all three of you. Good Thank you. you. Yeah, I guess uh, it sounds like Avonworth is really making an effort these days to get kids out into various workplaces. Yes, we are. Uh, uh, actually, we took uh, Jake down to WYEP, and uh, we spent the day there. And uh, while we were there, we uh, toured the radio station and uh, we were able to see uh, the Sam Roberts Band. And they performed there that day. And uh, um, Jake was able to uh, record a promo for his event that he plans on having uh, next fall. Pretty cool. And, and the rationale behind doing this is what? Well, what we're doing are graduation projects. And right now, we're piloting a program where we connect businesses with students. And um, what they do is they, uh, they're able to have real life experiences. Um, they're able to uh, get exposed to um, what it's like to have uh, you know, a job out there in the world and it's outside of school, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, is Pittsburgh Regional Compact an effort really to encourage a lot more employers to open their doors, or windows, whatever, uh, to students, especially in, in, in K through 12. How did WYP get involved in all of this? We were approached by the Pittsburgh Regional Compact as a potential employer who might be interested in partnering for this endeavor. And there's a whole uh, list of employers throughout the region um, that are taking taking part in this. And so when Michelle approached us from Avonworth, she saw us on that list and thought that uh, it would be a good fit for uh, the interests of some of the students. And so we invited them to come to the WYEP Community Broadcast Center on the south side. And, uh, gave them a tour behind the scenes of a, a functioning public radio station and as she mentioned uh, we went into the studio recorded a promo and uh, did some other activities to kind of show them what it's like to have a career in broadcasting and Jake you're serious about a music career you yeah. really want to get into this yeah. did, did it open your eyes to go and actually see a real band uh, you know and yeah. everything that was going into what they were doing at WYEP yeah it really did uh, well first of all in our tour we saw like the backbone of everything and like how everything's done which was cool experience and then uh, seeing the Sam Roberts band actually play was really cool and we got to meet with them and talk with them and uh, they talked with us about their music and like what they're doing and it really just helped us like open our eyes to see what's coming up. Uh, Sam Roberts, what a Canadian band? Yeah, they're really big up in Canada and are kind of trying to get themselves established here in the United States so they were in Pittsburgh that night they performed at a studio session at our building and it just so happened to coincide with the tour so it really worked out pretty well. Really, but it kind of shows you what you have to go through to get yourself established. Yeah, right? definitely. As a band. Yeah. Now, and and you got to record a promo for an event you're actually going to do at, at school in the fall. Uh, yeah, we were just practicing the promo. Uh, it wasn't really like for the event, but we were just practicing it and seeing what you really do. So. It was a really cool experience. But that's part of what this effort is about. It's not just giving the kids a day out of school. They actually have to come back and apply what they learn in some way? They do. At, at the end of their senior year, the, um, they will have to be, take part in an exhibition. And they'll have a portfolio, and um, they can present that portfolio to a group of people who will assess their project. And, and next year, this will be just a pilot still. Um, and in, in the subsequent, subsequent years, uh, we will have, um, we will have uh, the project actually in place. You know, so. Well, the, the hope is what it really will prepare the students better for life yeah. and that comes after yeah it makes it relevant uh, it's you know it's uh, that's what it does it, it makes it relevant to the, what they're doing and, and it's um, it's something that they choose you know he's been in a band so this is perfect for him so he can uh, you know take this with him to college and beyond so it's pretty nice so you got the bug now at YEP to do more outreach to, to school groups and yeah like we're, we're always looking to welcome students into our doors to uh, give them a insight into the the field and I think this is a cool opportunity that I wish had been available to me when I was in high school. Uh, you know, internships and, and job skills are so important these days with uh, high school and college graduates. And uh, we're happy to kind of be a part of that process and learning experience. Well, excellent. Great to hear you're all partnering as part of the Pittsburgh Regional Compact. Thanks so much. Yep. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us.
And we'll be back in a minute uh, with a little bit more of our Rage's Business. Stay with us.